Superheroes. There's a lot of them, maybe too many. I bet when you were a kid you saw one and thought, damn, I want to be that guy. Well, now it's 2022. Christmas of 2022, to be exact. And you've either had a Quest 2 gathering dust in your closet since last year, or you're about to receive one this year. But what if I told you that this hunk of plastic that knows more about you than your parents do could actually grant you that wish? Well, it can. That's why I'm here. I've gathered over 100 Marvel characters that you can become in VR through playing or modding games. So welcome to the Superhero VR Game Guide. Echo, Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, Gamora, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Jean Grey, Gambit, Blade, Okoye, M'Baku, Doctor Doom, and Bullseye are all playable through your choice of vanilla blade and sorcery or battle talent. Since they all involve weapons or abilities that are built into those games, they are pretty straightforward. The Invisible Woman also kind of works if you turn off the enemy AI in battle talent, which will make the enemies react to you as if you were invisible. Meaning, they won't. Next up are the characters that require mods for Blade and Sorcery or Battle Talent. Black Panther. Put on the mask, and this mod for Blade and Sorcery grants you Vibranium Claws, Auto Slow-Mo, Infinite Climbing, Unlimited Double Jump, Invincibility, and this awesome Kinetic Blast that throws everything around you backwards. Loki. This mod adds Loki's staff from the first Avengers movie. It's essentially a reskinned vanilla staff that can be imbued with fire, gravity, or electricity powers. Then, you've obviously got the sharp bit on the end for some good old-fashioned stabbing. Thanos. The Infinity Gauntlet mod has all the trimmings. The Power Stone chokes and beheads enemies, the Reality Stone vanishes their weapon, the Space Stone Fusrodars anything within 10 meters, the Soul Stone steals health, the Time Stone freezes time, and the Mind Stone makes enemies fight on your side. Combine them all for the Snap, which kills half the enemies alive. Deadpool. There's a couple different pathways for DP. My preference is Battle Talent, since you can use the vanilla katanas and mod in some guns. You can even add in this teleportation spell, which replicates Wade's teleportation belt. Besides that, you can get the same results through mods for Blade and Sorcery and Vanilla Bone Lab. Cable. Use a Chris Vector and Telekinesis. Zemo. Just use a pistol and a rapier. Moon Knight. The Fist of Conchu gives you Mr. Knight's batons, plus Moon Knight's staff and Crescent Discs. Out of all of them, the Crescents are the most insane. They also return to your hands when you hold the trigger. Daredevil. To use Matt's Billy Clubs, get this mod for Battle Talent. There is a mod for Blade and Sorcery, but it hasn't been updated and there's no archive versions, so just use Mr. Knight's Batons and close your eyes, I guess. Captain America. There are plenty of shield mods for Battle Talent that work well, but this one for Blade and Sorcery felt way too big and clunky, so I'd recommend just using the vanilla shield. Thor. This mod adds in Mjolnir. It functions the exact way you'd expect, with it being charged with power the moment you pull the trigger. From there, throw it at the ground to send out a shockwave or just hit people with it. Wolverine. You can get Logan's Adamantium and Bone Claws through this mod, which are tons of fun to use, but so, so brutal. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. His powers are literally just f***ing knives in his hands. Coming up is the Superhero Simulator games, Project Demigod and Superfly. These are games that include power sets that let you become a pretty wide range of characters. Icarus, Vision, and Sentry. The Strength power set grants you just that, plus Flight and Laser Eyes. I'll just quickly mention that Demigod's enemy selection complements these power sets pretty well. For a proper mid-air superhero battle, face off against the flying nano cyborgs. Drax and Gilgamesh. Same power set as before, just don't fly or use laser eyes. Cyclops. Same power set again, just only use the laser eyes. If you want, there are laser eye mods for battle talent as well. Kingo and Captain Marvel. With the Blast power set, you can choose between four unique energy blasts. You can even do a Kamehameha by double tapping the grip button. For Captain Marvel specifically, you'll want flight powers on one hand and then the blast powers on the other. These next two powers are technically the same power set, but they're pretty different, so I'm going to treat them as so. Mr. Fantastic and Ms. Marvel. Turn your body into elastic with the stretch power set. Perform stretch punches and grabs, with the latter allowing you to manhandle enemies. The power scaling is pretty crazy here, so you'll be able to effortlessly hurl enemies through walls. The Hulk, Red Hulk, The Thing, Abomination, She-Hulk, Beast, and Colossus. Double tapping the triggers with stretch powers will gradually increase the size of your arms and their strength. At their largest, you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the giant robot enemies in destructive battles. Use the different size settings and the avatar customization to match the character of your liking specifically. Thena. Use the weapons power set to summon kunai, swords, and batons, which is basically what Thena does. I don't know, I fell asleep halfway through Eternals, didn't you? Hercules. Summon yourself some hammers with the weapons power set, then use the stretch power set to increase the size of your arms once. The Human Torch. 
The fire power set gets you as close to being the human torch as you can be without lighting yourself on fire. Makari and Quicksilver. Speed power set. Run fast. That's it. Spider-Man and Venom. With the web's power set, you've got web lines and web shots. To be Venom, have one arm be a Hulk arm. Looks a little strange, but hey, so does Venom. Kang the Conqueror. Demigod has these crazy time manipulation powers. Use them to freeze time or reverse it for enemies of your choosing. Now onto Superfly. Ant-Man and Stature. Unlock this side grade and you'll be able to shrink and enlarge yourself. As Giant Man or Stature, you can pick up cars and hurl them or even fist fight with things you should not be able to fist fight with. The Wasp. Shrink yourself down with the Ant-Man powers then switch to the electric powers. Use them to fly around and zap things. Like a Wasp. Electro. I just mentioned the electric powers. Like, that's it. Just use them. The Falcon, Angel, and the Vulture. Wings. Yeah. Iceman. That's a real thing. Use the ice power set to pave paths of ice before you, then charge up icicles to shoot at enemies. There's a side grade that turns the ice into earth, making you... Dirt... Man. That really almost happened. Dr. Octopus. This power set gives you Doc Ock's arms. You can spin them up and punch stuff with them, enlarge them to walk on the sides of buildings, or even draw swords from them. You know, why not? Nightcrawler. The new Blink power set has you throw out knives and teleport to them. You can chain this to quickly zip around the city or even situate yourself behind your enemies. Just quickly, Superfly has speed powers that are just as good as Demigods, so if you want to be Makari or Quicksilver, the two are basically interchangeable. There are also Spider-Man powers that offer taser web shots. These next characters require individual games to replicate their powers, so it's safe to say that your wallet probably isn't going to like this one. Shang-Chi and Iron Fist. Dragon Fist is an awesome fighting game with fairly deep kung fu mechanics. Alongside the hand-to-hand -hand combat, you get a special ability with each of the many characters on offer. This one requires a lot of energy and focus, but it's so much fun. The Punisher. H3VR is a gun sim known for its realistic physics interactions. It's great for plinking, but for a more combative experience, try Pavlov. To live out Frank's experiences in the military, onward will do the trick. The Winter Soldier. Pretty much all of the Punisher's games will work here, but you could try Medal of Honor above and beyond for Bucky's World War II service, and the Aspire games for his espionage missions as the Winter Soldier. Rocket Raccoon. Download this avatar for Bone Lab, grab some guns, and off you go. Only on PC though. Iron Man, Iron Heart, Rescue, and War Machine. Iron Man VR is obviously your go-to here. It's a licensed game made by an experienced VR dev team, so it'll easily outmatch other experiences. If your budget is limited though, Superfly has an Iron Man power set as well. Galactus, The Celestials, and Eternity. To make the universe your playground, try Universe Sandbox. You're able to create and destroy planets, solar systems, even entire galaxies. To simply explore the universe at a speed beyond light, try Space Engine. Star-Lord. Gun Raiders gives you guns and jet boots in an arena shooter setting. Just put on some 70s and 80s music and you're guarding the galaxy. That's gonna be one of the worst jokes I've ever made. Like, I've made, I've made some bad ones, but that fing takes a cake. Holy shit. Groot. Yep, I somehow managed to find a VR game where you play as a tree. Akron Attack of the Squirrels is. Squirrel. Holy shit, I can't pronounce it. Akron Attack of the Squirrels is one of those games where one person is in VR and however many others join the game on their phone. As the tree, you've got to stop the squirrels from stealing your golden acorns. It's a real shame that no VR dev has tried tackling VR tree combat yet, so this is all we have right now. How sad. Valkyrie. Spark VR engages you on horseback shootouts that while not offering the same grandeur of storming hell on a pegasus, it's about as good as you can get. <sighs> Korg. Here you go, Korg fans. Here's a VR game where you play as a rock. You can't do anything. You don't have any powers. You're just a rock. The only thing you can do is wonder why the hell you'd ever want to be Korg. Doctor Strange. Waltz of the Wizard is the true Doctor Strange VR experience. You get to use hand tracking and voice commands to cast spells, and even use them in combat. Black Widow. Defector puts you in the shoes of an international spy and has you live out all of their experiences. It's essentially a Mission Impossible movie as a VR game, with action set pieces and other spy work, like reconnaissance and interrogations. It's seriously super cool, check it out. Storm. Deism makes you the god of a civilization, and part of being that god is controlling the weather. Whether you bring good or bad weather upon them is up to you. Surprise lightning round! VR chat has a world called the Spider Lair. Might have covered it before. Don't know, can't remember. Maybe, maybe I have, I don't know. You can swing around like Spider-Man and you have a range of costumes to wear, including those of Peter's multiversal counterparts. 
And they include Spider-Man 2099, Silk, Miles Morales, PS4 Spider-Man, Mayday Parker, Spider-Gwen, Spider-UK, Japanese Spider-Man, Spider-Punk, Man Spider, Scarlet Spider, MCU Spider-Man, 616 Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, and Raimi Spider-Man. Holy sh**. And if you at the very least want to look like a certain character, there is almost certainly an avatar of them. I managed to find the Green Goblin, Ultimate Green Goblin, the Lizard, Carnage, Spider Carnage, Mysterio, and Ultron in a world called the Avatarverse. There are probably thousands of other Avatar worlds you could check out as well. Silver Surfer. Jet Island is great for this. Use your hoverboard and weapons to tackle cosmic level threats, or simply explore the world around you. Namor. There's not really any underwater combat games, so your only real option here is playing Minecraft VR and using a trident. It probably sounds really dumb, but once you add potions and enchantments to the mix, it's way more fun than you'd think. Taskmaster. This one's a little bit of a stretch, but the game is still pretty cool. We Are One has you work with mimics of yourself to solve puzzles. They replicate your movements like how Taskmaster mimics his opponents. It's a pretty interesting mechanic. Ghost Rider. In Hellroad VR, you've got guns, a motorcycle, and hordes of the undead in front of you. If you ask me, this is basically THE Ghost Rider VR game. Black Cat. Thief Simulator VR lets you break into rich people's houses and steal their shit. It's always morally correct. Craven. Virtual Hunter is what it says on the box, a virtual reality hunting game. It's basically as realistic as it gets, involving all the tools and tricks you'd use in real hunting. Ronin. Basically any samurai game will be good for Ronin, even just blade and sorcery with modded katanas and shurikens. But I specifically recommend Sirento and Samurai Slaughterhouse. The former has insane movement that lets you pull off crazy moves, and the latter offers physics-based combat and a manga-esque art style. Either of them are good calls. Professor X. For our final character, I managed to find a VR game you can play with your mind. It uses a device called the Next Mind. It's a VR headset mounted brain computer interface that reads your visual cortex. In the included demo, focus on these people's heads and poof, you literally blow them up with your mind. I have no idea how to get your hands on one though since it doesn't seem like they're on sale anywhere. And there you go, more than 100 different Marvel characters that you can become in VR. I know for sure that I missed some, off the top of my head Mantis didn't make the cut but that's because I don't think there are any VR games that put you to sleep. Besides Bone Life, yeah I f***ing said it. I think I've gone over about everyone you could possibly want, but if I didn't mention your character, try looking around yourself. I'm surprised at half the stuff I was able to find for this video, so chances are you'll find an experience for your character too. Alright, I'm gonna get to work on the DC version, so see you in like a month. Probably. Hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. You know, I was gonna I was gonna put Morbius in this video, but I decided against it in the end because the meme's kinda dead. But the game, it's called Vampire on Itch.io. So just type in Vampire VR Itch.io and you'll find it. Merry Christmas, Morbheads. Beep.